very good morning and welcome. It's Thursday. We've broken the back of the week now. Give yourself a bit of a break. Sit down and get comfy for the next hour because here's what's coming up on this lovely Thursday morning. In just a moment, he played Miss Two for us. And after last night's first eviction on Celebrity Big Brother, do you think the right person was kicked out? Should the more... So first up, he's a former fashion model, a law graduate and no stranger to working on Hollywood blockbusters. But his latest project has taken him away from his L.A. lifestyle and brought him back to his roots. Well, back to home shores anyway. You'll know him best for his roles as Simon in the television series Oz and Mr Echo in Lost. <laughs> OK, can we just do the name first? Okay. Because each name has an interesting meaning. Oh, yeah, Living just, just get in there, man. Was it here? Christmas or? was great, you know, it was a time for me to actually... There, I mean, you know, great excitement here. Not, not least from Seb, the floor manager, who's a massive <laughs> Lost fan there, yeah. like a little boy who was watching that clip. Yeah. That was set on, obviously, a, a beautiful island in yeah. Hawaii. It looks like an amazing job, but you asked to be written out of it. Yeah. You say, well, that was a great moment in my career, a turning point. Nine months long is, is a lot. And I think really what drove the situation and this, the decision was the great British actor, Stephen Graham. So yeah. let's have a look at you in action. Okay. <laughs> It looks like it's got a real feel good. It really did. Yeah, she well. plays my love interest in it. Right. So you don't miss the palm trees and the sunshine of LA then when, you, when you're working <laughs> in. As beautiful as Nottingham is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a timing for all these projects. But another project I want to talk to you about is Nemesis as well, because oh. that's interesting because it's a joy. I'm the only American, so I come all the way. I mean, um, you know, uh, Frank Spotnitz is, a, is, is the producer who did. Um, uh, things like uh, a strike. I didn't go that far, but oh. um, but you, your family and mm. is also very interesting. You know, big Nigerian family yeah. wanted you to get a very good education, mm. and sent you out interestingly to foster homes when you were kids. Within, in some ways, that I mean, story would be a great script actually. Well, obviously the early part of it is yeah. what you've written, but that's an interesting route, isn't it, to that kind of success? Yeah, it really. Okay, <laughs> uh, well we're still to come. We've got immersive journalist Cherry Healy. She's talking about popping her cherry. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. It's 11.24. We are live with you this morning. And coming up, journalist Cherry Healy on her new a branding guru, working with the likes of film director George Lucas and luxury brands Cartier and Dior, to name but two. And he's achieved huge success whilst struggling. I say that tentatively, and we'll ask him whether or not it was a struggle, but he had severe dyslexia, which was diagnosed at an early age, but he never let that stand in his way. He's also a designer, a jockey, a fisherman, and an honorary eagle dancer of a North American Indian tribe. Please welcome Steve Edge. I, I always loved your clothes, Steve. You look fantastic. Well, today. Gabby, thank you. Thank you. I'm very, you know, it's very important, you know. That, so if you've got gold shoes... I'm doing my best, amazing you know? <laughs> so, so literally, wear it every day. It's all I ever wanted. And, um, and then, you know, being a f peculiar little... Tell well, people well, what you see. Well, you know, what I see... Um, dyslexic, I get helped and all that worry. So, you know, if I go into a railway station... Or no, somebody who's not dyslexic. No. So, did you... Did, did words... And that gobbledygook on there is like, whoa, no, no pick, you know, reading, it's men... Yeah. No. When you had your no. first pay packet, it was to buy... No, no a horse. Let's give her some water, <laughs> let's feed her, and that was it. <laughs> Listen, but, we know. might let you rebrand the show for hey. us. Welcome back. Still to come, we find out why one council has employed cows to keep their... Dwell on it very often. So, when I... When I think back to those who, who've done that and who've said that. I met a lot of in a corner milk crying. off a saucer in the corner. That's the way I think <laughs> I'd go. Um, Please don't go in, Gabby. I think expert Jason Vale is on. Hello, welcome back. I'm joined by Hollywood star. Uh, so a few of uh, the dissenters coming through. And now, when Cannock Chase Council in Staffordshire reported a new state-of-the-art, highly economical, environmentally friendly oh. way of keeping the grass tidy in their area, rumours were rife. But have they taken it Moo far. Oh. We went oh, to find oh. out. <laughs> but I then found out that all fruit they're loaded. Because you have to right. keep Well, I think that you can find out more in the book, obviously. Um, it's a way of life for you, Jason, but you can dip in and out of it, of course. Yeah, as well. of course. Just tomorrow's show. Celebrity Big Brother Evectee Andrew Stone is here. Comedy duo The Pajama Men will be tickling my funny bone. Our agony aunt Anna Rayburn is here to sort out your January blues. What blues if you're juicing, hey, Jason? Uh, uh, plus, from slammer to glamour, William went to prison a man and came out a woman. She's here tomorrow. All that live, 10 past 11 on Channel 5. I'll see you then. <laughs>